Prince Philip married Queen Elizabeth II more than 60 years ago in 1947, but there's one British tradition the former Prince of Denmark and Greece never got behind. Prince Philip has been an official member of the British royal family since he married Princess Elizabeth, later Queen Elizabeth II, in 1947. The Queen's husband was born into the Greek and Danish royal families, but has spent most of his life in Britain. In 1928, he was sent to the UK to attend Sheen School and at the age of 18 he joined the British Royal Navy. When Philip and the Queen married on November 20, 1947, he abandoned his Greek and Danish royal titles and became a naturalized British subject. Just before the wedding, Prince Philip was created Baron Greenwich, Earl of Merioneth and Duke of Edinburgh. But shockingly for a British consort, the Duke is reportedly not fond of one of Britain's most loved traditions. According to reports, the Duke of Edinburgh does not enjoy tea, and is instead thought to prefer black coffee. He is rarely seen drinking tea of any sort in stark contrast to his wife. The Duke of Edinburgh also only consumes small amounts of alcohol and one biographer observed that he is partial to living a very healthy lifestyle. John Kent, of the small Piccadilly firm Kent, Haste, and Lotter, which has made the Duke suits for half a century, told The Telegraph in 2017, he's got a fabulous physique. There's not an ounce of fat on him, which is why he wears his clothes so well. He's very well proportioned. He's got fairly long legs, and he doesn't carry much weight. Mr. Kent said it's unusual for his clients that measurements remains largely unchanged for decades. He said, he was a 31 in waist when I first measured him, and he's now only a 34. That's incredible. I've never had to let out any of his clothes. The Queen is a fan of SM and Earl Grey, and will always pour the tea in first if she's taking milk. Butler Grant Harold shared an insight into the monarch's habits as he spoke about British etiquette in BBC Three comedy show Miss Holland. In the which documentary aired last year, Mr Grant said that since the 18th century, the proper way of brewing tea has been to serve tea before milk. This is something that the Queen and other British royals strictly adhere to. Mr Grant said, I am sure the Queen enjoys her Assam or her Earl Grey the traditional way, made with tea leaves in a teapot and poured into a fine bone china teacup. She will also use a strainer. It is also a myth that members of royalty use their pinky when drinking, I have never seen that happen once. Tea.co.uk reports 84% of the British population drink tea and herbal infusions every day. In fact, a whopping 165 million cups are drank every day and 60.2 billion per year. Prince Philip enjoyed his single life even after he married Queen Elizabeth II. During the first few years of the couple's marriage, the Duke of Edinburgh stayed out late and partied hard. In the recent episode of The Crown, Prince Philip actor arrives home late after partying with his friends. But instead of getting mad, her Majesty simply turned a blind eye to her husband's late-night escapades. During a previous interview with Radio Times, royal expert Ingrid Seward explained why the Queen was very forgiving of Prince Philip's misdemeanors. She said that the monarch was very conscious of the fact that her husband had to walk two steps behind her so she allowed him to enjoy himself. You know, when he got drunk at the Thursday club and when he came home late, she was forgiving of him because she felt that he'd been emasculated by her position, and he's a very alpha male," she said. And since the Queen was not very strict towards her husband, there are rumors that Prince Philip managed to hide his infidelity from his wife. Even though there is no confirmation that the dad of four ever had an affair, it cannot be denied that a lot of women were interested in dating him. In 1948, shortly after Prince Charles' birth, Rumors swirled that Prince Philip was having an affair with actress Pat Kirkwood. The two were photographed dining and dancing at a nightclub in London while the Queen was pregnant with her eldest child. During an interview, Kirkwood was asked to comment on her alleged affair with Prince Philip after the latter refused to release a statement via the palace. A lady is not normally expected to defend her honor. It is the gentleman who should do that. I would have had a happier and easier life if Prince Philip, instead of coming uninvited to my dressing room, had gone home to his pregnant wife on the night in question, 
she said. 